Um, good morning to you, two of the friendly city of Port Elizabeth. A moment that stood out for me yesterday was when Mzwandile Stick, the PE-born backline coach, lifted up his hands as he arrived in the airport. And I think that moment for me stood out because I could feel in a sense from him that saying that, you know what, I've been all around the country, but to come home with the trophy, to come home with the medal as the winners of the World Cup means that so much more. Mzwandile, let's first go back to that moment. I remember standing at the back and looking, looking at you, lifting up your hands. How was that moment for you when you arrived in PE, your hometown? I think it's going to be a lifetime memory for me, most especially coming back at home and celebrating what we have achieved with the people of Port Elizabeth, which is we call it Ipai. Uh, this is where everything for me started, you know, so I was very emotional at that time and I couldn't hold my emotions back. So I, I was actually happy to be able to come back home and celebrate with the people back at home. And obviously this is where your rugby career started. So how does it feel like now to come full circle, to come back to the place that nurtured your talent and perhaps your message to the people of PE? You know what, people, they talk about giving back, you know. So for me, it's all about uh, uh, motivating the young ones out there in the streets, you know. So when they look at me and they get uh, inspired, you know, to, for, 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 for achievement in life, you know, uh, irrespective of where you come from, you know, uh, they, I just want to give them hope, you know, I just want to give the young kid out there in the streets to say, you know what, irrespective of you coming from Kwasakele, from your Brighton, from Sweden, you know what, if uh, you, you work hard, you work hard and you get ready for your opportunity, when your opportunity comes, you need to be ready for it. So I'm very happy that I, I can be able to share this moment with all the South Africans, you know, with all the South Africans because of, I think this means a lot to our country. I think it came at the right time, you know, where we can be able, in our positions where we are sitting currently, to unite our country. So I'm, I'm so fortunate to be in the position where I am now. And I'm, it's such a great honor to be representing my country and I'm looking forward to celebrate with the people of Port Elizabeth. Uh, speaking of you of Port Elizabeth, I have a surprise for you. your best friend is here, uh, Obamba, and he has a message for you. I know that you guys grew up together and he played a key role in your success. So Obamba, uh, a moment for you that you won't forget. Your message to stick, you guys grew up playing together at primary school, at club rugby. To see him here, and what does that mean for you as a best friend and also a former rugby player with him? Yo, to see him in this, in this position that he is now, I'm so delighted. I'm, so, I'm very, very happy for him, knowing that where we're coming from, we come from a long, long, long way between me and him, it is really, uh, he, he's the picture of, of the saying that says it doesn't matter where you're coming from, what matters, where you're going, for, where you're going. It, it changed a lot, it's not, it's not about me also, it's about also the, the young boys that, that are coming from New Brighton, there's, very, there's hope for them now, the, it, it's there, I'm, I'm so excited for him. And I'm sure proud of him as well. Yo, very, very, very proud of him. Uh, yeah, we've been, we've been together for, we started this thing uh, <laughs> since we were 11. We even started to make Eastern Province together when we were 16 years. We, we didn't stop. 16, 18, 19, 20, up until he, he went to the, to the, to the Springbok for, for, for sevens. We never stopped. Beautiful pictures right there of Mzwandile Stick and his best friend, Bomber. They say that they grew up playing rugby together, sometimes on an empty tummy, but motivated to make it big. And they say that their message is that any child, no matter how small you are, your dreams are so valid. But for now, let's go back to you in studio. So thank you so much uh, for that. That was our reporter, Lerato Fekisi. She was in conversation with uh, Springboks assistant coach Mzwandile Fekisi, or rather Mzwandile Stick.